Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of the Hate Squared podcast. If you're tuning in for the first time, I go by the name of Hader. I'm Hussein. And obviously together with the Hate Squared podcast. Man said episode 20, you know. Oh, is it 20 now? I think so. Congrats. Well done, bro. Appreciate that. Um, if you're watching, man said well done, like we ain't done it together. Well done, um, as you can see, we've got a special guest, which we'll be introducing, which who we will be introducing in one second. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this on YouTube for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button, share it, all of that good stuff. Um, oh, you know we're not far from 500. Yeah, we'll get that. And then once we hit 1,000, we can start, you know what I'm saying? The first 1,000 is the hardest to get. Guys, hit that subscribe button, I'll tell and you what. We're trying to get yeah. our mums out the hood. And if yeah. we can monetize from YouTube, one day. you know what I'm trying to say? And obviously... You need to stop swearing. Huh? You need to stop swearing as well. Oh yeah, is that true? If you swear, you can't monetize? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we're going we're gonna to be broke. <laughs> right, come. <laughs> and of course, if you're watching, if you're listening on um, Apple Podcasts and Spotify, again, you know what to do. Sir, please introduce the special guest. The special guest we got in the building right now. So today's guest is um, head coach of a, uh, a, a, would you call it a YouTube football team or just a football team in general? Football team. Football team, innit? You're football team seriously. that's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. football <laughs> team that's, that's on YouTube. I like uh, that. I like Rising that. Ballers FC, Mr. Gaffer Maz himself. Round of applause. Nice. Thank Some thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank special you guests behind the scenes yeah, as well. I don't know if I can reach over. My guy, thank you Cheers. for coming, bro. Appreciate that. No worries. How's, um, how's life? How's things? Good, man. Good, obviously. Tough with Corona and that, but yeah, how's it we're been? living as a as a coach, as a someone in the football industry. How's it? You guys still going, or is it kind of everything just stopped? Um, we've now just obviously picked back up. Yeah, yeah I saw but, that. Um, that previous three months or so is obviously been very very hard. Quiet, mm. just at home planning as a coach, trying to keep in touch with the players. But you know, it's only so much you can do away from it. Mm. Making sure like they're doing their drills and that one now. Mm. Uh, here and there, here and yeah. there, you know. Every human being is entitled tough, some man. some free yeah, time, no, you know. Tough. You know, I'm tough. I'm on them quite hard during the yeah. season, so mm -hmm. you know, it's Give pretty much just a holiday for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, I swear that man, that's good. Well, um, yeah, well, I saw yesterday on your um, on your, I'm not sure if I can say, but on your Instagram that you guys picked up a W, so well done on that. Cheers, Hopefully thank that, you, bro. that'll be on YouTube soon. Yeah, next week. That's good, next man. week. That's good. Yeah. If you want to just give the uh, the audience a little introduction to to what you do or what you've done, mm -hmm. and um, and then obviously we'll just we'll just pick up from there, man. Um, my name is Maris Batash, known as Maz, mm -hmm. now also known as the Gaffer Maz. Uh, I had a long career in football from a young age. Uh, started football at the age of two and a half, three years old. Um, very briefly, got signed at the age of eight, nine to to an academy, Fulham Football Club. Mm -hmm. uh, spent all my youth there up until the age of 18. Um, had a bit of problems here and there, which I'm sure we would, we would get into. Yeah. And then um, jumped into the non-league scene, the pro scene as well, briefly. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and then slowly, slowly through injuries, etc., mm. molded into a coach, which I'm doing right now, I'm enjoying. Doing an amazing job, and, uh, bro. Thank you. Same, and uh, yeah, so that's a bit yeah. about me. I'm 26, I'm Algerian. I was born in Algeria. If you've had Algerian, that. Yeah, come on now, come on now, you already know. <laughs> Tell you a funny story about um, Do you, uh, Algerian. Do you speak French Ah, uh, these, these will always get get on to me. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Dude, to uh, be fair, I, I can I can relate because uh, my mum's Lebanese. Okay. And every time I tell someone I'm Lebanese, they ask me to put up on I'm like, no, bro, nothing, leave me alone. Nothing. Do you, do you listen to, uh, to French music at least? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's it. That's, that's yeah. the only part I'll claim. I think it was um, 2014. I might have told you this. 2014. I went to Tunisia. Um, they they border, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know. Was was there a World Cup in 2014? 2014. I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm not really yeah, yeah, too too involved. Yeah. What and was um, it? Brazil, it? 2014 was Brazil. Brazil yeah. Yeah. I, I'm not sure where it was, but I was in Tunisia at the time, and I think Algeria had won a game. Okay. And then the Tunisians, obviously, when I was there, I was yeah. I was out and about in the streets and having dinner at night, or whatever. But the streets were locked down. They were, everyone was chanting Algeria. Yeah, well, the Tunisian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There, there was there was mad love for their neighbouring country. Oh, that's Flags. Um, I mean, that that's poli police were there. It was a madness. That, you know, I'd say us North Africans, Moroccans, Algerians, Tunisians, mm. bit of Egyptians here and there. Yeah. Quite tight, I'd say. Yeah, um, yeah. there's a bit not, of rivalry between Algeria and Morocco uh, a little bit, isn't it? Mm, people say that not as much as what people claim it to be. You know, no. I've, mm. I've personally been in Algeria, See, and Morocco, of one, and we're happy and mm -hmm. etc. So. You know, at the end of the day, we're all I one, I guess. Between, it's that's between us, just like a border that's split yeah, 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 up, yeah, yeah. a bit of different dialect here and there, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, no, yeah. no, no real Can't relate. I'm, I'm Pakistani, so most Indians have a bit of a, you get me? No, shout out to the Indian audience watching, though, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nothing but love, you get me? Nothing but love. Trust me. Bro, Algeria borders, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. Ballers, fam. Yeah, I mean, um, you, bro. I caught up. Back in the day, all, all, all flair as well. All now to do a little little trick, little, little trick, yeah. rainbow yeah. tank, and obviously some <laughs> Donny just comes and hacks them. Yeah. Trust. But fam, all boys. Then Adin Zidane Algerian as well, isn't it? Zidane, Benzema, fam. Nasri, quite Big a few players. Zidane's yeah. Algerian. Yeah, bro. Matting. Zidane Adin or something. I think his actual name. Obviously. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll just change the best one. You know what I'm saying? But now, man. Sorry, I'll let you go. No, no. I'm just gonna get straight into it, obviously, because we're a bit tight on time. Um, so currently, obviously, you said Rise and Ballers FC. Yep. Um, just how that, the how that came about, and were you coaching? So obviously, going from a player to a coach, it's not obviously it's, it's worlds apart, isn't it? So yeah, was course. it was it a transitional phase? Did you or did you just say actually no, I'm going to stop being a player and then just switch to a coach? Um, even when I was playing, so when I hit the non-league scene at the age of 21, mm. um, I was coaching. Um, in my area at Westway Sports Centre. Mm. Um, it's, you know, just the core groups, the five to seven year olds, the eight to 11 year olds, and the 12 to 16. Yeah. So it was nothing what I'm doing right now in terms of the senior players. Um, it's just something that, I'll be honest with you, put a bit of money in my pocket yeah, yeah. at the time. Yeah. Um, I obviously had a knack for coaching, loved coaching, but yeah. I didn't love it as much as what I do now. Mm -hmm. It's something that I've, I've grown into, mm. um, especially in the past year, I'd say. Um, that's down to rise and borders. But, mm -hmm. uh, before that, yeah, like I said, I was only coaching maybe two, three times a week in terms of structured football sessions at Westway. Mm. Slowly, slowly started to build up my one-to-one -one clients as well. Um, but I didn't have that much really because I still wanted to be a footballer at the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was my main focus. Mm. Like I said, it was just to put money, money in the pocket and keep yeah. going, you know. But um, yeah, in terms of the change from a player to, to a coach, massive, massive difference, of mm. course. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the experiences that I've had in my life have definitely helped me to make that transition a lot easier and quicker than mm. maybe what the, the average yeah. person may mm. have. Yeah, no, do you know, it's, uh, it's funny you say that because I was talking to my boy who's, uh, who's actually a pro footballer as well, had to move abroad to kind of chase his dream. And um, he, he's, he's, he's back here obviously because of the COVID situation. Hope he doesn't mind me saying. And I was, I was talking to him and he was like, he was a bit, he was a bit down because obviously hasn't got a team, he doesn't really know what he's going to do, but he's still training and still active. And I said, yeah. bro, why don't you take up coaching? Because yeah. I thought, you know, mm -hmm. his personality match coach. And he said, he couldn't, he couldn't do it. I go, why? He goes, he can't watch someone else realize his dream and help them towards that. Did you, did you feel that in the beginning a little bit or do you still feel it? Or is it kind of like, no, I, I want, I want nah, the Nah, not players. at all. Like with, with my players, I don't care whether they're five years old yeah. or they're 18, 19, 20 in my rising ballers or even my men's team mm -hmm. on a Saturday with Welling United. Um, being able to have that opportunity to help players mm. and almost like live their career through your eyes mm. in a sense, that gives me a sense of pleasure now. Mm. Like, no, I've had that. my time, yeah. I've had my time, yeah. it's now their time to shine. Mm -hmm. It's just me in the background, giving them the little, sure. you know, feedback here and there and helping them progress and push because I want them to go further than what I've done, yeah, you know, yeah. in a sense, Definitely. you know. I had a career Definitely. in the game, I'm thankful, I've had great experiences, but I want people to do better than me. Now that's a, a that's a great sign of a leader in general, bro. Like, you know, like I, I always say to like when I'm speaking to my parents about work or whatever, I always say like a good manager will show you, um, like tell you what to do, but uh, a great leader will will you know lead the way and show you what to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're you know what's that word humility? The fact that yeah. you're willing to like put ego, pride, all that stuff aside. Oh, just because it didn't work for me, yeah, you get nah, me. I can't you, give secrets, you, but now nah, respect. You get over it. Obviously, when I first dropped out the, the pro game and the academy game and whatnot, mm -hmm. um, you do feel a little down. I hit a, a point in my life where I was depressed. I didn't know where my next move was. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what my next club would have been, etc. Mm -hmm. Where I'm maybe getting that next paycheck. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. you obviously you feel you feel down. But that was a time where, you know. My, my, my family, my father mainly is, you know, someone that I look up to in a sense. And, you know, he, 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 kept, he kept me sane in a sense. Yeah. And he's, you know, told me to keep going. That's why if you see my videos now, I'm, I'm quite heavy on the discipline side and, yeah. you know, the positivity and on my stories, like for my followers to see, etc. because <coughs> you don't know who you can help out there. Yeah. Even if they take mm -hmm. away something out of you, mm -hmm. you've, you, you've done something for the better, for the better good. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, it's just, my message has always been work hard, put your head down. You, you never know what happens. One door closes, mm -hmm. another opens. And for no. example, my playing's finished up, yeah. but my coaching, alhamdulillah, now is, alhamdulillah. is opened up. So yeah. yeah. Now I rate that. Um, I, was, I remember I told you time ago, I'll test your memory a bit. My first ever job mm. before, well, my first proper job was McDonald's, shout out McDee's. Okay. But before that, like I'm talking cash in hand. I was actually a football coach myself, okay. but I was coaching uh, young children yep. uh, like between the ages of like, probably like infants from like, Tod sorry, toddlers, 
three, four-ish, okay. all the way up to like 15, 16 yeah. year olds. And um, I was only, what, no, no, 14, 15 year olds. And I think at the time I was only what, like 16, 17 yeah, myself. Yeah. And I swear down like that, you know, that again, mentioning leadership, yeah. knowing how to manage a group of people, especially youngsters, like mm. kids, it proper teaches you about your, you know, your patience, of about course, of course. how to, you know, as you mentioned, you know, discipline and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And I feel that even to, the, to this day, I'm 24 years old, as I mentioned to you before we filmed, like there's still times where I see myself using those lessons from on the pitch, the discipline, um, getting people to listen and how, how to listen without telling people off. Yeah. I think that's such an important, beautiful nah, I know, skill I know what you mean. I know what you mean because the way I maybe done certain things with my three, four year olds that I was coaching, mm -hmm. I still apply some of those key fundamentals with my 18, 19, 20 year olds, or even my 27 year old on a That's Saturday right. morning, you mm -hmm. know? There's obviously you have to talk to them and get down to their level if they're younger, yeah, and yeah, you're, yeah. you're close, close to, down, to age in a sense. Yeah. You know, you, you can relate to them a bit more, mm -hmm. which I find a lot easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, not that I don't enjoy working with young kids. I've done that for five, six years. Yeah. And I felt that that's a chapter that I've moved on from now. Um, I like working with players that I can obviously give a bit mm. more information purely because of the background I've had yeah. in football mm. as a player mm. myself. So, yeah. um, no, I definitely understand what you mean, but you know, you just take a bit of every little group, it, it molds you as a person yeah. as well, definitely, in a sense. Definitely, definitely. And um, style, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, in terms yeah. of coaching style. So, um, it's definitely it's definitely helped me personally. No, I read that, man. And I was, sorry, sorry, go on, my bad. Sure. Yeah, I was just saying, like, and like, gratitude in general just an amazing feeling but I, I can only imagine like like if i'm not mistaken some of the players you worked with have gone to yeah. professional clubs and stuff yeah. and i'm sure for you not only being their friend but someone that managed them and, and coached them essentially like you must feel like just really proud of not only yourself but for them as well you know you saw them at their baby steps per se yeah 100%. and like you know you're like my man's gone to me saw them through yeah yeah, to the, to yeah I've, I've been lucky honestly to especially in the last two years i'd say mm. um worked with some class players, still am working with class yeah. players around and you get to know them more than just footballers. Yeah. And especially that, that, I think that's a key thing for myself as a coach. Mm. I get to a level with them where they're not just my player, mm. you know, I'm their friend, but mm. I'm their mentor as well. Mm. There's time for a bit of banter, but then there's time for a serious, serious stuff on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, mm. But in terms of players, like you said, yeah, I've been lucky, I've been blessed, you know, Darius Johnson, uh, sorry, Darius Johnson, um, to Shea, Andrew Gibbons, Illaman, PK, you know, they, they've all gone through the system at Rising yeah. Ballers, and you know they've just, you know, they, they've gone on leaps and bounds in in the last couple of months. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, just to be able to help them and be around them and have that bit of, you know, effect on their career, mm -hmm. it, of of course it makes me proud because it's my job at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. I'm mm. I, I'm in a hot seat right now at Rising Ballers where we. we not, I'm not going to say we claim because I personally feel we are the best London side out there mm. and that's not me love being... Love that energy. No, it's not, love it. Be honest love it. It's not me being, you know, big-headed or whatnot because I'm a very calm guy, very, you know, to the ground yeah, yeah. sort of thing. But if I'm going to say that we're the best team and I truly yeah. believe we are the best team... Are you the gaffer, I create the best, say, you know what I'm saying? Hard, hard you're the <laughs> no, create the best say. product out there, yeah. uh, you know, it's my job. I need to do it. I need to create players. I always Otherwise, say that. And even Mayweather says that. Men lie, women lie, results don't lie, numbers don't lie. Results don't lie, numbers don't yeah. lie. Exactly. Like last season, we went, I think it was 36 games unbeaten. <laughs> last season, that's, seven. That in that's itself is dumb. Dumb. Last yeah, season, that's seven, eight players signed pro. One turned Scottish. You know, I don't see no team out there mm. doing that. And it's not me even being big time. Obviously, something's working within our work at yeah. Rising Ballers. 100%. But we, like I said, we, we're grounded and we yeah. just repeat, repeat. So it's new season coming up. Mm. I'm looking for the next couple, two or three, four players to, to step up and fill the shoes that left and, you know, yeah. move on themselves. I was going to I was gonna say that, bro, because it's like you're constantly in a re, re, rebuilding phase because mm, mm. obviously it's good to see your, your best players go and sign for professional clubs, but then that leaves like a right back that needs to be filled of or course. a centre mid that needs to be filled. How do you constantly find, you know... That's the power of social media, man. I mean, exactly. uh, I mean, I know you obviously know I'm very bad with replying to messages, <laughs> mate. Um, but um, yeah, listen, my, my, my DMs on Instagram, on social media for Rising Ballers, the Gaffer Maz, or some of the other owners, etc. at Rising Ballers, yeah. even the players, we're filled with, uh, our inboxes are filled with videos, you name give it, of players, chance, give me a chance, chance yeah. this and that. And it's, right. it's very tough. Yeah. Obviously, we can't reply to every single one. I'd yeah. love to. Um, so that's where we create, you know, trial dates, etc. But it. it's very tough for us as trial dates, etc. Because you don't know what caliber of player comes in. So mm. all the players in the team right now are all handpicked and chosen for a reason. Because I either know them personally and I know they can make that step up, 
all the players have you know recommended them and I yep. bring them into training where it's a lot easier mm -hmm. whereas out there for the public mm -hmm. you know it's a, uh, it's a lot tougher so in terms of trial dates we've won we've done one or two mm -hmm. you know it's successful for me to pick out one player at least from that you know but they didn't go how as many well. people roughly like come to those oh, uh, mate, trials? we get you know hundreds we done a last minute trial date. I think we put the post out 48 hours before and we got something about 6,000 re Yeah, 6,000 replies. I was expecting like 400 or something. Yeah. It's, it's a joke to the point. 6,000 people came? Four, or six, 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 oh, we had to turn them away. So then we only selected, I think it was 200 where we made them apply again for, you know, previous experience, what clubs they've played for, Rah. positions, etc. And then we had to filter wow. it out. So it was, it, was, it was a tough work for those 48 <laughs> hours, you know, That's going through all them crazy. applications, but you know that's that's the power mm, of the of mm. the brand right now, and yeah. you know we're thankful. We can't really complain because no, no, that's no, what no, we no. want. It's good from position the start. to be in, man. Yeah, it's exactly. Position. I was gonna ask in terms of um, it's good that you mentioned that as well because in terms of like scouting a player now, bro, like you could show me a player like a lot of a lot of like scouting now. I think from from everyone really is done on in terms of like stats, like yeah. football, like FIFA, football manager, all these things we're used to seeing nine dribbling, ten dribbling, whatever it is. Yeah. You're seeing a clean slate. You're you're seeing a person, a player. I could turn up, for example. Yeah, of course. And be, do you get me dead? But you you have to see that on the pitch. How do you how do you analyze a player? What 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 things? It's, do you it's look gonna sound all right. It's gonna sound funny, but I took this from my dad, and you you only really get an eye for it when you're around people that make you believe it and see it and. One thing my dad told me at the age of, I think I was 11, hmm. he, can, he knows a footballer by the way he walks. No way. Wow. That simple. In a sense of how he carries himself, you could tell whether, yep, yeah, he fits the deal, or, mm, you know, you might need to work on him, or, nah, he's not, he's not really a footballer. And it sounds a bit cocky or, you know, mm. level-headed, and you think, oh, but he might be a, you know, a late grower, mm. etc. Mm. But literally, I'm now in a position now where I've been around it long enough where I'd be like, not gonna judge a player yeah. straight away, but be like, oh, he's got the swagger of a footballer. All okay, right, okay, let's see okay. what he's about. I'm not talking swagger about the boots and yeah, the kit, yeah, yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about how he walks how and he carries, carries himself. himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that that's a that's a point that's to start off with, mm. uh, personally. But like I said, that comes through experience. And then secondly, obviously, like you said, you know, everyone's a clean slate with myself yeah. personally. Anyways, um, no, I love come show me what you got. You know, I don't put players under pressure. I let them do their thing. There's obviously a philosophy they need to play mm -hmm. under, etc. Mm -hmm. that, that's a lot more technical info. But in terms of them as an individual, once you step that white line and you're on the green pitch, show me what you got. Mm -hmm. Because you're not just showing me, you're showing 75,000 people on, on, on YouTube, on YouTube for yeah. rising ballers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what I tell them is out of them 75,000 people, at least 2,000 are scouts, at least. Mm. Maybe more, maybe less, who, ne who knows? But yeah. someone's well, out I, there that's watching you that might want you. So, Exactly. So you, if those players can't motivate themselves and get to themselves mm. to the required level, I'm not really going to help them that much, honestly, because yeah, yeah. they need to help themselves first. Mm. Bro, um, bro, I rate that. I was going to ask you a question, just taking it back a few, sure, a few, yeah, few, a few minutes ago. You mentioned um, branding, about the brand you've built as a, as a collective, essentially, and um, what you guys are, but more so what you guys are now portraying yourself as, as selves as uh, online in the sense of like your YouTube videos, um, the Instagram pages you guys got going on, and your personal one, yeah. of course. In your opinion, what would you say makes a strong brand? It's gotta be professional. It's gotta be professional. Mm. Um, everyone likes the, the banter here and there, and you could still do that within a professional um, yeah. setup. Mm. Um, but doing things correctly, mm. watching what you post, what you say, what you like, etc., because it all feeds it back all eventually. Back. Yeah, yeah, it all yeah. comes back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not saying be on guard where you're not yourself, because mm. that's the big thing. You have to be you yourself. Have to be yourself. There's a fine media. line, though, bro. There's, yeah. there's there a is a fine line. It's hard being man. yourself it's hard. and unprofessional. Like I think a lot of footballers struggle with that as well. They'll do something where they think, yeah, yes, I'm just for my social media, but then like a coach picks it up or like hundred percent. And, like and, and, and and that's that's the world we live in, man. People yeah. get judged on through a post rather than maybe what they're like in person 100%. and what's vice that, um, versa. What's that footballer we, sp we spoke about before? The one place for Man City? Um, William Sterling. With Sterling, that's what's going He gets violated all the time. Yeah, for, but he, like, if you are like going back to numbers and stats, he's the best in the country right yeah. now, apart from De Bruyne maybe. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's give or take. You're always going to be hated. You're always going to be loved by some. Mm -hmm. You just got to deal with it. But in terms of Social media, yeah. if you want it to be, you know, effective in a way, mm -hmm. uh, you got to have a clear message, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, professional. Mm -hmm. Number three, stand out from the rest. Do something different that Love other that. people are not Love doing. That. So it's like, 
you could see the same post or whatnot, but they might be able to, I don't know, express it in a different way. Or me and you might be putting out the same post right now. I say it in one way, you see it in another. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's whatever way works for you personally mm -hmm. as the individual and the character. And, and that's it, really. Yeah. Just be yourself, man. No, I read that, man. How's, um, you spoke about your philosophy. Yeah. Without giving too much away. I can't give obviously. that one away, mate. Without, <laughs> I'm no, joking. No, no. Without giving too much away, what do you, what do you look for for your, for your black? Obviously, I know from, no, from I the know videos, you can tell hard work, 100%. Like, that's, yeah, that's, that's a given, like, though. That's no, a but given. that's like, like, when I see, in, like, for example, I'll name some, some football teams on, on the YouTube scene. When I watch Hashtag, for example, I don't see like a good, good team, but on the halftime team talk or whatever it is, I don't see that. Yeah. Like, bro, that, there's, it's, it's that comes from one thing, though. This comes guys. from one thing. And I have nothing wrong with these teams and whatnot. Yeah. Mm. And that's why I say we're in our own lane. Mm. Our vision is to put young players into the pro game. Mm. Their vision is entertainment. Yeah. So okay. we're balancing okay. entertainment and putting players in a pro game yeah. where they're just doing entertainment. No one else is doing that, no? No one, no one in the Sunday League or, or YouTube scene in general is doing what we're aspiring to do day in, day out. Mm. If it happens for them in terms of a player going through, congratulations to them. Mm. I don't think that's their main aim. Yeah. Um, I think now, obviously, we've paved the way, so other people are now having that idea of mm. creating their own team and maybe mm. creating showcase matches, yeah. etc. Mm. Um, I would like to say we are, I do think we are the pioneers of that and we've got to carry on going. But, 100%. I love um, it. I will give you another spot for that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that, now, for big man team, that confidence is just... No, you, you know, know you've you, you got to be confident. You mentioned swagger, you know what I'm saying? I can see where your players get it from. Of course, man. Right? I mean, it's, um, but it's just, yeah, literally, so in terms of us, we're in our own lane. We, no, we're here that. to produce players, simple as. I see that. So, I see that for sure. And when you're talking about philosophy, um, if I throw out some words out there, they've got to be expressive, they've got to be um, bold, they've got to be hardworking, obviously, mm -hmm. disciplined. I could, honestly, I can throw all on it. I can on. carry on, honestly, but yeah. the main thing is you come here, you enjoy yourself, you work hard for your team, you work hard for myself, mm -hmm. you work hard for yourself, mm -hmm. and that's it, man. You know? It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a sticky question still, but Go if you are, Love it, I'm getting ready myself. No, 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 it's a, it's a good question, <laughs> but it might like, just, you've got to choose your words wisely. No, I'm joking. Go ahead. Um, in terms of your current team yeah. right now, anyone that's like, you know what, bro, this guy is like my, my dream, like my ideal player, like... Our ideal player? Like, philosophy to the T. Do you have anyone like that in your team? Because, bro, I watch, bro... Bias aside, bro, listen, yes, bias I've got, aside. Listen, all my players, honestly... <laughs> yeah, I said bias aside, I said, I said bias aside. You know them, honestly, all trend. my players, fantastic. <laughs> if you're going to say standout performers recently, yeah. I'd go Ruben Carvalho, mm -hmm. I'd go Dara, and I'd go my goalkeeper, Melvin. Melvin's sick. I rate Melvin all 10 right? 10. I'd go week in, week out, consistent performance. Yeah, 100%. Like, I'm talking nine. Nine was captain, isn't it? Yes, skipper, mm -hmm. uh, number one for me. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd say nine out of ten, yeah. eight, out of nine, uh, eight out of ten consistently, week in, week out, mm -hmm. performing at the highest level. Yeah. Other boys, of course, still doing that job. Yeah. Uh, but their but numbers in terms of clean sheets and goals yeah, and assists yeah. for the other two, um, they, they do speak they volumes. The benchmark, yeah. yeah, man, definitely. Yeah. I, was watching, um, I was watching a couple of videos, bro, I'm not going to lie to you. Is Hamza still with you? Hamza's still with me, yeah. He's cold. He's cold. Hamza's an animal, fam. That guy, I would not I want to I binge watched him. a few videos. Uh, Bro, who's the, the striker? Past couple I, weeks. I forgot his name. Donny, big Donny striker, bully. Big Chris? I think it's Chris, yeah, big Chris. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, Chris, Chris has moved on. Chris oh, has, no. Chris has moved on. Um, Chris moved on six, min six months. No. Six months ago, yeah. So before Corona? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. So oh, we, had a, we had a change of shift, um, mm. and that goes where... As a club, we're evolving, yeah, continually yeah, yeah. evolving. Yeah. It's a challenge, um, it's a challenge for yourself. Certain players are now reaching the age where, I'm not saying you can't make it as a footballer because there's yeah. 25, 26 year olds that are yeah, making yeah. it right now. Mm -hmm. um, but we're targeting the age of 16 to 19 year olds mm -hmm. at a push 20 that we're really going to focus and put all our energy towards mm -hmm. and give them showcase games because that's what pro teams are looking for right now. Yeah. Those ages really. You know, so. you just said something, bro, and this is, this is a, Probably out of everything we've asked right now, it's probably going to be the most personal question, yeah? So obviously your story, first of all, I want to commend you for how Cheers, honest man. you were. And um, like, wallah, like, I know there's cameras and everything, and I'm with my brethren right now and everyone, but this is no cap, like there's no, there's no fabrication here. When I, when I was listening, watching the documentary, hearing your voice, like it was like, 
you know when you when you watch like a like a Will Smith film or something and you hear the <laughs> sadness, but you also yeah. hear the the inspiration behind it. Yeah. I heard it in your voice, and there was the unfortunate bit where you know you were lies. Your words were hours away from getting signed. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. And um, unfortunately, the agent you was affiliated with at the time done yeah, what, yeah. what they done. Yeah. You being in the position now where you've got tangible evidence where you've taken these you know ballpark players and you've made them essentially professionals. Do you ever see yourself going to the agent side of things, especially given the fact that you had a wrongdoing done to you? Um, you know what I'm trying to say? Straight away, no. Um, I wasn't can't, expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Um, you can't... It, it, it's... it's to What's it? Yeah, it's an inflict, like in a sense, you, you can't be a coach and an agent yeah, yeah, in the yeah. FA terms. Yeah, you yeah. can't be anyway. Conflict so, of interest. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. No, what no, no. I mean, like, once you're done the coaching, once you. I don't think I'll be done coaching. I'll be honest with you. Mm. That's how much I love it right now. Mm. Okay, I reckon okay. I'll I'll be pff, a good couple, couple of 20, years. 30 years in coaching. Inshallah, God yeah, forbid. Oh, uh, inshallah. Inshallah. So, um, yeah. Uh, God so what is it against the them, wise. or what is it that you're not you're a bit anti towards with the agents? Uh, just the agency, I just don't enjoy it. I'm not really the guy that. It's more business side, right? Yeah, I'm not really the guy that you know goes on meetings and whatnot. I'm more hands on in terms of on the pitch, in and around it, mm. where mm. the hard work mm. is because the agent just comes in, signs a couple mm. papers, mm. there he goes, he gets his his money worth. Mm. Couple phone calls, nothing against agents by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's a, it's a hard graft as well, chasing players and whatnot. That's mm. not really me. Mm. I'm already not a, a social media or, or a, a guy on my phone quite a lot. So for me to be what I am mm. right now and mm. instantly change story, not for me. Yeah. Don't, never really had the interest in, yeah. in that. But in terms of coaching, playing, being in and around it, yeah, definitely. You mentioned, uh, obviously, in your, in, your, in your story on Rising Ballers, um, when, like, obviously, the, the, the stuff that happened happened, right? But... When did you kind of realize that your playing career could, like, sometimes you have to sit back at, like, and, and ponder life. Like, sometimes we have it as well. We message each other and we're like, bro, like, this podcast is like, mm. last episode didn't do so well, or the last two episodes haven't done so well. Like, is this really a thing? When did you have that conversation with yourself or with your, or with your, with your father? Um, what stage of your career? Uh, basically, I had a very bad knee injury in 2013. Same. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I done, I done my meniscus. I had part of my cartilage shaved off, etc. So yeah. uh, that when was it, after Fulham, right? After Fulham, right? So um, yeah, part of my cartilage shaved off. My knees never really felt the same. Mm. Um, was told I was meant to be back, you know, m- more than a year in terms of recovery. Mm-hmm. Came back in six months. I worked on it every day, three times a day, in the gym, out of the gym, in the gym, out of the gym doing what I can at home, got my body to, to a point where I was a new animal, I was a machine. Mm-hmm. Um, and I got myself back playing, enjoying football again. And then um, done my ankle, broke my ankle, um, two places, um, right at the front and on the side. Clean break, didn't need an operation, but I was out for five months. You didn't mention that anything, no? Uh, deliberately didn't want to mention oh, it. it, didn't want to make it too, too much. I was uh, gonna say, they didn't ring any bells. Yeah, yeah, so I broke my ankle. Um, and then I was out for five months. I was told again, I was meant to be out for a year, etc. cetera. I came back in five months. So in terms of overcoming stuff, I'm used to it now in a sense. It's like, all right, here we go again, sort of thing. But then it got to the point where I got my body up and running again, playing football, earning great money, alhamdulillah. Um, you know, playing week in, week out, my name buzzing again in the non-league scene, getting promoted, winning trophies. Then it just hit on the one of my managers that I was playing under, all of a sudden he got sacked. A mm. uh, new manager came in, instantly fell out, fell out the love of the game. Traveling an hour and 45 minutes to Braintree that I was, I was playing out in Essex, deep in Essex. Coming back at you know, midnight, 1 a.m. Yeah, sometimes yeah. the M25 is locked off. Mm-hmm. And I just started to fall out of love with the game a little. And that's when I started picking up my one-to-one clients and my coaching more on the side. So it was literally mm. coaching all day, going to kickball and trying to keep up with this career that I really wanted. And it came to a point where I started getting more opportunities in the coaching scene and I was just like, mm, maybe I need to take a, a hard long look at myself and in the mirror and what I want to do. And it just came to a point where not, not me giving up because I didn't, I didn't give up and still to this day, I won't give up if I really wanted to. Mm. I made a decision where I'm happy with myself still to this day that, all right, I played, I enjoyed my career, even though I stopped it at 20, 25, let's say, mm. all right? 
I've travelled all countries that I wanted to travel in terms of football. Mm -hmm. I've played in lots of tournaments. I've played, alhamdulillah, for my country. Mm -hmm. I've done quite a lot in my short career. I've ticked the boxes that I wanted to tick personally. Maybe moving on to the pro game and Premier League, Champions League, you name that. Yeah, yeah. Maybe didn't do it. It wasn't written for me. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, it wasn't written for me. Coaching was, sorry about that. No, no, and um, yeah, so... You know, I jumped into coaching, but the main thing was me falling out of the love for the game purely because I started exactly. traveling too far, not enjoying it, and you know, so important, not man. understanding, or not not me not understanding, but me not agreeing, shall I say, with some of the coaches that yeah. I was sitting in the change room as a player mm -hmm. listening to. I'd hear some stuff and I'd be like, "That's not me," or "I don't want my team to be like that." Mm. So it made me eager to make my own team or be in and around a team where mm. I can now develop and implement my own philosophy and my own style, mm. how I want my team to play and hopefully my players enjoy it. Mm. So that was a big thing for me. That coach, mm. I'm not going to say his name or whatnot, it was a coach that, mm. you know, made me think real deep. Mm. And sometimes you need those people in life, you know, because mm. mm. might, he might have maybe made me hate playing in a sense, maybe in that split second or that period of time. Mm. But looking at the bigger picture now, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying coaching, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So there's always those sort of people that mm. um, influence you in the wrong and right way. Yeah. In that way, you know, mm. I took it as a positive rather than a negative. But mm. how hard is that, like, to sit back and you see that, like, let's say a coach is saying long ball and you like, you know, small, like, oh, passes, it, short, it, it burns, short it burns, passes. especially, for example, myself in terms of experience playing in an academy football and yeah. academy football is its own little bubble you know pass and move and it's yeah, all yeah, yeah. you know sexy and nice yeah, yeah, on the yeah. eye etc and you, you look the part you yeah. get fresh boots you know you let, get looked, uh, looked after mm -hmm. meals whatever you want to eat etc you're literally living, living lavish yeah. you get what i'm saying <laughs> so then go into to a, a completely different style where it's raw yeah. and it's you know yeah um uh, more so about being hard and, and being tough and mm -hmm. the English way, yeah, etc., yeah, yeah. which I don't agree with, Stop. never have agreed yeah. with. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, it's made me want to, you know, get things up and running quickly in terms of my point of view and how I want my team to play, etc. Mm. No, I read that, man. It's, um, bro, so much information. Do you know, do you not, do you not, like, do you not sometimes sit back and just, obviously you mentioned like the bigger picture and everything, but do you not sometimes think, like mentally, that must have, like that whole experience must have drained you. I think that's, that goes without saying, right? hundred percent. There was sleepless nights yeah, yeah. involved. There was, I'll be honest with you, I'm a man, tears. Yeah, there 100%, was tears 100%, there, 100%, bro. Because... I nearly cried when you were telling the story. <laughs> it's, 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 I had goosebumps. It's, it's, it's just passion, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I've, yeah. Football is all I've ever known. It was yeah. my escape route. I, I was good at education, but I left school in year nine yeah. to play football. I had the early scholarship, then, sorry, and then got a scholarship that's all I knew, you yeah, know, yeah. a round bit of level mm -hmm. and, you know, grass or astro, wherever yeah, it was, yeah. you know, and my dad taking me long journeys and rushing home from school where I, my boys are going to get chicken and chips and I'm running home so I can get changed into yeah, my training yeah. kit. My dad can take me home. Fair I sacrifices. Couldn't, I didn't, exactly, sacrifices. Yeah. I didn't have the, the lifestyle that a lot of maybe I youths yeah, and yeah. in our generation and generation before us oh, yeah. and now I didn't have that. Literally, there's so many... So many things you got to put to aside, friends, family, you name it. And it was just like, it's all worth it in the end. It's got to mm -hmm. be done. At the time, maybe you don't understand it and you sulk and you moan, you, you have a little go at your parents, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, they know what's best. My dad knew what's best. He, yeah. he played football himself. He knew what it's about. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm eternally thankful for it. No, that's good, man. Do you never, love, like on a deep thing, just sit down and think, what if? Of course, man. You of do, course. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I still see my rise on ball. Yeah, like yeah, yesterday, yeah. you see nice pitch. Some of them got the, the, the fresh Nike boots that got given to them. And it's just like, oof. Yeah. They've given me them boots. <laughs> but why am I not on a pitch sort of thing? Yeah. Uh, so it's not a bit of, it's not jealousy or whatnot. It's just like, yeah, yeah, like it's just like, oof. I it's wish human, I, bro. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. It's just like, yeah, yeah. I wish that was me. Yeah, but it's course. not me. All yeah. right, let's get on with it. So that you do get that split. You get that split second, maybe that 10 second thought where you're thinking, Raw, that could have been me, or yeah. raw, that was me, but and then and then you quickly get back into life. Yeah. And, and but the mentality of of you saying that and being aware of it, but mm. still being like, raw, you know what? It's calm, like you said earlier. Yeah. It wasn't written for me. It wasn't meant to be. Do you know what I mean? We move sort of yeah. thing, and, and I think that's like the best mentality to have as a winner. Of course, like, man. Th like this is the situation. 
what do we do from here? Of course. Are we going to sit here and cry about yeah, it? Or are we going to accept it yeah. and move on and try to make the best of the situation? Mate, having, having a conti uh, contingency plan in life is mm -hmm. rule number one for me, man. I know there's, there's quotes out there that are saying, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm big on the motivational game and speeches and whatnot. I, look, I listen to a lot of public speaking, etc. Yeah. And they say plan A, plan A, plan A. All right. Mm -hmm. Plan A is not working. What, what can you do? Plan B. Mm -hmm. Plan B is not working. Plan C. But there, there's always got to be some sort of link between plan A, plan B, plan C. Mm. For me, plan A was playing football. Plan B is coaching, coaching. Mm. managing, you name it. Mm. There's a link still within the sport that I love. Yeah. Um, there's still the passion involved, etc. Now it's just switched to a different side, really. Mm -hmm. So mm. that's the big thing for people out there is, yeah, work hard on, on you know, your craft, on what you want to do in life. Yeah. And I'm not saying um, don't have tunnel vision and whatnot but it's also good to think outside the box as well. And, yeah. you know, it, it's healthy to think what if. Yeah. It's unhealthy to just think, yes, this, 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 yeah. this, this, because then you get caught up in it so much that you, you become blind to other things. Mm. So definitely having plan A, plan B, and if really, you really do need to plan C, mm. then make sure that there's some sort of link in and around it. Yeah. If there's no link, then that's fine. Some people, you know, change career paths, you know, yeah overnight etc but i'm saying for me personally i try to keep that link there so you know i'm still mm. doing something i love mm. but just on a different side no that makes sense man you mentioned uh, yourself winning mentality as well mm. um that's something we can clearly see straight just from talking to you and you yeah. mentioned as well rising board as well is it 36 36, 36, 36 yeah. games yeah. unbeaten how do you drill in the winning winning mentality obviously but also not to be complacent because obviously complacency is a big big factor in, in football, um, especially. i think my players notice the detail I put into it, the effort I put into it, the, the passion I put into it, that the hard work behind the scenes, they see the whole company as a whole, or myself as an individual, as a coach, mm -hmm. they see their peers as players, what they're putting in, away from a Sunday, people just see Sunday. They don't see my players working hard on a yeah. Monday morning or a Thursday night, mm -hmm. you name it, etc. Different conditions, different terrains. Um, so it's, like I said, it just goes back to core values, you know. Mm -hmm. My core values, I try and instill them into the team, but I need to do it first because yeah. if I don't do it, I can't expect you my can't, players yeah, to yeah, do it, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, like I said, if, if I instill it into myself and my own personal goals yeah. and, and life, mm -hmm. my players will instantly be attracted towards it mm -hmm. and they'll be like, all right, I want to buy into it in a sense. Mm -hmm. At any point, I show laziness or I show a bit of complacency in my work and think, yeah, it's just another team we're going to play on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. They're going to come over. They're not going to roll their sleeves up in a sense and, and give their best mm -hmm. shot. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we're on camera. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look silly. They mm -hmm. don't want to look silly. Mm -hmm. The audience, our, our, our fans, our supporters, you know, they, they put in a lot of energy and love into us. The only thing we can do is step onto that pitch mm -hmm. and give them something to rant and, and, and talk about, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. with their friends, family, you name it. So, you know, like I say to these boys, in a sense, they're hood celebrities now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, know, mentioned you, that, you mentioned that. You, yeah. you, you, you walk around, you walk around in ends, oh, Gaffer has this and that, yeah, and it's yeah, a pleasure. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's fantastic. Like, it's, I never expected it to be this big. Mm. Um, you know, it, it still shocks me every single time someone says my name, it's like, yeah. oh, wow. And then yeah, they yeah. want a picture, I'm like, oh, wow. And it's not <laughs> in a, because I've, I've never really been that guy in a sense. Yeah. And that's what I'm telling these guys. They watch your every move. You lot are role models now, mm. but the biggest role model that has to be it is me, mm. in a sense. Mm. I, I know we have players, we have 22 players or whatnot, but, and I'm, I'm not saying this in a big head, a big headed sort of thing, but I'm probably maybe the face of the brand right now. I was mm. gonna say that. I think that the, was, so, yeah. you know, people think Rise and Borders, they think Gaffer Maz. Once yeah. they think Gaffer Maz, then they think players, right? Yeah. Ruben, Dara, Melvin, mm -hmm. Lil Baby to Shay, Darius yeah. Johnson, etc. You understand? Then yeah. it, so it's like it starts on the top and it keeps going down and then yeah. it's just a evolving cycle. So you can't really be complacent at any point because yeah. people will judge you. Yeah. Oh, mm. I saw Maz do this. Yeah. Oh, I saw Ruben do that, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. They start creating an image mm -hmm. and then that's when the image of the brand goes down. Yeah. So we try and stay on top of it as much as we can. Do you, do you enjoy that side of it though? Do you, do you enjoy the social media being on camera or do you prefer... Shall I be honest with you? It comes, mm -hmm. it comes with I don't, know if, I don't know if you like seeing it. Go watch my first game in charge. Absolutely okay. terrified. 
<laughs> never really. Camera, isn't it? yeah. It's weird, bro. It just it's, it's mm-hmm. just there. It just mm-hmm. stays didn't, there. You're just, you're just scared of it. I don't know why. Sweating. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm like almost like rehearsing what I need to say, and I'm a natural guy sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm myself, <laughs> but it's just like oof. This is something big, like right now. Trust What's going me. on? Trust. And then o- obviously, as well. over the time, <laughs> over time, you start to you know gain confidence, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it becomes a little bit more natural. Well, not natural. I've, I was natural from be- from the get go, but yeah. you know what I mean. And it's just you know, it's just part mm. of the job role now. You yeah. know, people want to see me on camera. They want to yeah. see my players on camera. It's yeah. like, all right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. It's not a sense of showing off. I look at me, this and that. Yeah, but yeah. it's just like, all right, then yeah. let's crack on with that it. That reminds yeah. me of a saying. Um, I don't know if you might have heard it. Um, how you do anything is how you do everything. I don't know if I you've heard, heard that. Never, never heard, heard of it. it. Never heard of it? Never heard of it. First time today, but... I think I heard there it. There you go, I learned something today, new. Though. Yeah, no, I've heard that a couple of years ago, but it just reminds me of what you were saying. Like, say that again, sorry? How you do anything is yeah. how you do everything. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, for yeah. example, you said... Um, Next team will kind of quote that and then... Trust me. Say from here. I, 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 I got you that I got you that one. You got him or me? Both of you. I need to spot that one. Myself. Copyright. I did the editing. No, I think obviously you can apply that to like business or like personal yeah, development yeah. and stuff. But, but even the small things like, you know, how how clean is your car? How clean is your room? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like the small things do make, you know, in my opinion, yeah. do do reflect on. I'm OCD. Trust me, I know it. And I'm not just OCD Trust. when I talk about my bedroom yeah. or like you said, how clean my car is, etc. Even Everything. though it's very dirty outside right now. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm OCD, man. Do you have any? Um, do you have any pre-game rituals then? Pre-game rituals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ah, mate, I'll start giving some people pointers, mate. Seriously? Um, (laughs) No, obviously everyone's in their cells, innit? Everyone everyone does their own thing. Mm. Uh, For me personally, uh, always had Eric Thomas on. Eric Uh, Thomas? uh, I know him. Who's that? You don't know Eric Thomas? The hip hop motivator. You put me on, G. Who's that? Uh, Hip hop. He, he's known as the hip hop motivator. Hip hip hop preacher, in a sense. Or something like preacher, yeah. So he's someone that. Um, hit me hard when I was the age of He's lit. 19, 20. I hit my first injury out of a club. Um, he kept me going every day. Mm. Um, he had this thing, thank God it's Monday. Every Monday I'm tuning in and it just prepares me for the whole week. Just working hard, working hard, working hard. So yeah. I definitely had him yeah, in my headphones and my beats at the time. Yeah. Um, I do come in, this I'll sit him. down. Yeah, check him out, he's class. You he's must class. have seen him. Yeah. You yeah, haven't seen it? Right, check him out. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's bait. He's bait. Yeah, but he's sick. He's sick. So, you, um, speaking of personal development, just because we're, we're nerds when it comes yeah, to books. Yeah, of course. That, well, audio books slash books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you into like Jim Rohn, um, Eric Worre, um What's that other guy's name, man? Um, like, just, I can't think of. I can't reason. lie to you. No, not nah? at all. Not at all. Um, it's just like kind of like motivational speech. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Check out My boy does someone, so. So, check out someone called Jim Rohn. Obviously, J I M and then R O H N. He's but I'm very he's specific with, yeah. with what it comes to. It needs why I like Eric Thomas and why he stood out to me because he works with a lot of athletes and a lot of teams. Oh, I see, I see, so I see, it was like okay. it resonates. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Me reading books or me listening to audios, etc. It's got to hit mm-hmm. me personally. Mm-hmm. That's how I've always been as a person. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, that's why he really hit me in terms of my rituals and in terms of why he's such an influential figure in my life mm. personally. I've never met him. I wish I have. Yeah. I wish I will one Get day. Get on the podcast. Uh, yeah, 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 mate. Why not, mate? <laughs> yeah, why he's, not? He's, he's massive. So that, yeah, man. definitely. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Definitely. Yeah, Jim Rome, sick guy. Um, try- I ask this guy, I'm bit into that stuff, but now that I'm on the spot, yeah, I can't yeah, think yeah. of anything. Right Give me a little WhatsApp <laughs> after. No, no, no. I got I'll you, check man, them out. But in terms of rituals, going back to it, um, I'd always walk into the change room with my right leg. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, always with my right leg. Um, I would find my number eight. I would sit down next to my number eight. No one chats to me for at least a minute, two minutes. Mm. Um, Is this as a player or as a coach? As a player. Okay. All right, as a player. And then um, I'll, I'll put my water bottle down, etc. I walk out to the pitch and I go and stand in the centre spot. Mm. And I pick up the piece of grass, I flick it up in the air. <laughs> I see which way the wind is blowing. Now, honestly, I'm very OCD with this stuff. I find where the, in, where the wind is blowing. All right, wind's blowing this way. All right, so I might need to put more pace on my passes That's this mad. side than this side. Um, I walk back in. I always put my shorts on first. Always. So, man, then will look at me in the chain and think, what is he doing? Probably everything off, shorts on. Boom, straight away. Then it was always right sock, left sock, 
Sounded like a Drake song right now. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> then my top is on the last thing. Like, I literally walk around topless in the change gym, just nice and relaxed. Yeah. Um, then always half a banana for some reason. <laughs> Always needed half of the oh, 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 This sounds very scripted, you know. I'm not even gonna lie, man. Man, it sounds lit. Man, don't go on bro. Trust me, but basically, bro. I don't know if you, how much you've, of Hate Squared you've seen, but he trolls me all the time. <laughs> like, and basically, true. every episode, these don't know, the viewers know. <laughs> he trolls me all the time. So well, right now, he's given a five minute rundown, bro. That's it. But then, yeah, yeah, half a banana. Because I don't feel. Nah, just half a banana. Because then I'll feel too heavy. Get it taken. Because I can't eat two hours, three hours before a game because I just feel heavy. I like to feel as light as possible. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Something that gives me a bit of energy. And then when it's time for the game, mm. you know, I've always been someone where prayer and rituals, yeah, you know, yeah. it's been part of my family, mm, how yeah. I've grown up. So, you know, a bit of that. Yeah. Um, of course, of course. No players come around me. They all understand what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I was, you know, thankful to have teammates that are very understanding. Mm. Mm. They leave me to make my dua 30 seconds, minute, where mm. however long I need, then I'm ready to play in. Alhamdulillah, I've always, I've always um, done well. Love That's that. That's crazy. And none have carried through as a coach or? Um, as a coach, I put my board down, I put my stuff down, I tell all the boys to get out of, of the dressing room. I sit in the dressing room, I get my tactics ready, etc. Make sure that I'm well planned, because when they walk in, it's showtime in a sense. Mm -hmm. Then I'll come up, go out with it, uh, onto the pitch then. Just lovely banter here yeah, and there. Yeah. Nothing really too OCD or intense mm -hmm. how I was as a player. Yeah. Um, but it's just, you know, going over to the players, bringing them one by one, talking to them, what you expect from them, what you want them to do. Mm. Little details. Yeah, like just that. little details here and there, but nothing too Especially major. Especially most of your players are between 16 and 19, you're saying, so. Yeah, I mean, you, you want them to, you don't want information overload. Mm. You don't want them to just, yeah, do this, do that, do this, mm. do that, because I hate that as a player personally. Mm. Um, just let me play my game. Yeah, uh, if, you've got something to, if you've got something to say, Half time, or maybe once or twice during the half, don't start calling out my name too much. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, you, you start to realize that as a player, then obviously bringing it on to, to coaching side, but mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you think they uh, do you think they have a sense of fear for you or of you? Or I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say fear, I would say respect. It's respect, yeah. Respect, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. say fear, because if anyone feared me, I wouldn't be too happy. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, like I said, I'm a calm guy that, you know, is just very passionate about ball and it might, you might, my facial expressions might show that I might be frustrated or angry, but really and truly I'm nice, cool, calm, calm headed, mm -hmm. um, very understanding mm -hmm. because what these boys do know and what a lot of people don't know is I was in their position. Yeah. Bad games happen, bad really? passes happen, mm -hmm. touches, you name it, etc. It's part of it, let's get on with it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say fear, mm -hmm. I would say respect, yeah. um, but it's mutual. Yeah. How they respect me as a player, uh, sorry, as a coach, I respect them as a player, simple yeah. as, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. I think they respect your, the journey you've been on, the, the, mm. the unique type of it journey. It definitely relates. On. On, one that on one thing that does relate, one thing that does relate, sorry to cut you short, is no, no, um, me still being able to kick ball yeah. to their level. Yeah. Sometimes a bit better. <laughs> um, Love no, it. Joining in training with them, they see, oh, Gaffer still got it, this and that, oh, Gaffer put Trust. the boots on. Yeah. Um, you play yourself on there, Ah, oh, that might be on the cards. I'm not going to talk too much. It might, oh, it might be on the cards. Did I misunderstand something from your uh, the documentary about Hayes, something to do with Hayes Football Club? Or did I, did I mishear something? He was playing for Hayes and... You, no, I've never played for Hayes in here. No, I swear no. I heard something to do with Hayes. I heard that as well. I'm not going to lie. Would, are oh, you sure now? Yates, Yates. Yates, Hayes, something around with Hayes. Reading, Ye Yeading, something like that. Anyways, man. I don't know. I thought I heard something to do with uh, Hayes. What was, but what was the actual... The context. I yeah. think it was like, you're a... Coach, player, or something. I don't know, bro. Oh, yeah. Stains Town, Stains Town, Stains, 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 bad, Stains Town. Bad, yeah, bad, Stains Town. So that was um, beginning of this season. That's basically technically just finished. Um, I played under a manager that liked what I was doing in terms of rising ballers. He knew what I was doing. Yeah. Um, brought me into the club as a player, but also as a coach. Mm. So he knew that I had a tougher job than him at a younger age than what he was as a manager. Because a manager is just a manager. Me, I was sitting in the meetings with them as management, then I'll sit in the change room as a player. Mm. And that's what shaped me um, as a person, you know, in, in the last six months, even more so because you see both sides of it mm. and boy, it's hard to balance it out. Yeah. Trust me, it's hard to balance yeah. it out because there's certain times I'm taking a coaching session mm. and I'm talking to the players and I wanted a bit more out of them. Mm. Then all of a sudden, maybe I'm playing yeah. and I didn't do that thing that I told mm. them to do. Mm. Just out of maybe lapse of concentration, one which is normal as human, yeah. boom, they're onto you straight away. So it's um, definitely having to be, ke you're, you're definitely kept and you're on not with them anymore. your level up as well. You're kept on your 10 toes, 100%. And yeah. you're not with them anymore? No, I'm not with them anymore. So um, after Staines, I uh, had a great record at Staines, left them. Mm -hmm. um, I got an opportunity to play for my manager that I love. 
you know, uh, sorry, to coach mm-hmm. uh, under him. Uh, Bradley Quinton um, at Welling United, so step two Conference South. Mm-hmm. Um, for me to be in and around that level at this age is honestly, um, a lot of people say it's unheard of, so I'm thankful for that. Um, working with men, you know, experienced men, 26, 27 year olds that have won it, that have played pro for, for mm-hmm. a number of years. And to be their coach and, you know, get, get wins on the board and mm. a solid performance, etc., mm. is class. So I've been with them now for the past, we took over in, took over in February. Mm. So then we've done a month and a bit, then obviously Corona, oh, yeah. and we've only just got cracking again. But class That's team, um, loving the management, loving the players. Sick. It's obviously helping me with my rising ball. who has got one or two in, a, in there now as oh, well. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so it's nice to bridge the gap between both teams. Sick. Yeah, we we'll see how it goes. That's Should good, be a good man. season, man. Um, obviously, Sick, bro. no, no, I'm, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, so, in terms of like, obviously, kind of wrapping up the the football side of things, your uh, your future plans is it? You you have to also do like career development and professional development. I'm assuming you've done your coaching badges or uh, you're progressing to do them. Or? Yeah, I'm. Pro- yeah, I'm still. I'm still on the on the coaching badges. So okay. I'm just about to start my UEFA B. Oh, sick. Man. Um, so quite high up then. Yes, yeah, not it's bad. For, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful. I got lucky to be accepted on it by the London FA. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that was meant to be started in last September. Yeah. Um, obviously there was delays, etc. Mm-hmm. Then it was meant to start. I think it was a week before COVID came up. Yeah. So oh, it, it was a bugger. Yeah, and I think bro. maybe yeah, I know. So I think now they're going to delay until September coming. Mm. See what, what happens, but yeah, um, coaching badges want to do them all. Yeah, UA for B, UA for A, pro license. Pro license yeah. mm. uh, I want to work in, in a top game for you to for me to get a UA for B at my age will be alhamdulillah, fantastic. Alhamdulillah. Get into the pro scene as soon as possible with the links that I already have mm-hmm. and see, see where I go from there, man. But cool. definitely want to stay in and around the pro game for as long as possible. So, is there a thing where even when you as you progress, not when? speak it into existence or when Love you that. inshallah when, we, when you progress yeah. is it still a thing where you always want to stay the coaching side of things or do you still eventually potentially want to go back or is it too late for the player side no coaching. definitely definitely coaching now okay, coaching cool. I've always there's a difference between a coach and a manager okay. for some reason I've always wanted to just be a coach okay. Oh, okay. like I said before um, I don't want to be granted just branded as the manager who sits in the office and then makes the important team yeah, selection yeah, yeah. on a Saturday, etc. Yeah. I'm not saying that's all they do, yeah. but a lot of them have coaching staff that do the real gritty work yeah. on the training field, Monday to Friday, etc. Mm-hmm. That's always been me. I just love being out on there on the pitch, mm-hmm. helping my team play, the players play, etc. So I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking that right now because I'm still young and I still mm-hmm. just want to be active on the pitch. Mm-hmm. Maybe with more experience I get on, etc. Then I might look when into, that, the, into that, the managerial yeah. side. When the offer comes, will be exactly, will be, yeah, exactly. Tough one but you only know when the offer comes or when the opportunity arises. Would you hate arises. Squared Part Two when that happens? Mate, yeah, definitely, Charlotte, definitely. Man, definitely. Man, man, man. When you lot are what 100k subs in there. Oh, uh, thank you, bro. Come on, now, man. Speaking, speaking that, let's, let's get to a k first, man. Let's yeah, let's get <laughs> to one k first so we can start monetizing. Already, you'll blink and it'll happen. Trust me. Inshallah. Now, all jokes aside, like we've said this about the podcast right from the get-go before we even probably recorded our first one, like. We know the long game. Like we know, firstly, how how many podcasts there, there are yeah. out there, and I'm not gonna lie, there's there's so many sick ones. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, but it's not even a thing of like, oh, we're the best and whatever. Like, obviously, we're the goats, but no, 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 I'm joking. But like, there's so many sick content creators, and it's like there's enough room for everyone to win. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And it's like, listen, they, one thing they say, and it's, I, I've been involved in it, is YouTube is a free year plan minimum. Yeah, minimum. Okay. If you're That's not good. putting in two, three years into your YouTube page, mm. etc you're not really going to see results. It's yeah. very tough. Mm. First year is all about building. Mm. Second year is about connecting. Third year is about, you know, producing yeah. consistently. Year, uh, week in, week out, etc. Yeah. So, definitely, um, man. Definitely you know, that, that's just a, a little tip for myself. Big up all the hate square supporters, man. Constantly uh, writing Yeah, so us. definitely support, man. Definitely support Appreciate because it, definitely. it goes Appreciate a long way. It. No, even from the, you, you didn't know this either, but from the first from the first episode, I had a, a list of guests that I wanted and you were, were one of them. Appreciate it, like, man. Appreciate it. So it's Prime uh, example of manifesting. Crazy, bro. 20, 20 episodes in and we, and, and we got it, bro. God made it happen. Oh but even like, bro, even from the outside looking in, um, I watch like a couple of YouTube teams and I watch like hashtag SC Dons, whatever it is. And obviously you guys, you're doing something right in it. The way, the way it. you guys are moving, the way every, like all the players, like you see the personality, but you also see on, on the pitch, they're doing their thing as well. Appreciate bro. it, man. Marshall, like, oh, you know, you just mentioned SC Dons. Fun fact. That video that went viral of one of their players oh, yeah. scoring a sick goal. So out. he plays for my Welling team. He's Mont- What's his name? Oh, Mont- I know Mont's yeah. older brother from back in the day. Oh, okay. uh, class, class, Dwayne. class guy. You, you know Dwayne? 
I don't know his brother. Yeah, his older yeah. brother is sick guy, man. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Dwayne no, if you're no, watching. No rivalry, nothing. It's just banter, man. It's just banter <laughs> between us. Um, Have you played them? Oh, we are playing them August the 30th. Ooh. So is there in tickets to that? Two and a half weeks. Listen, it all depends on... Um, corona. Corona, mate. Because their it. fans are crazy. Their <laughs> fans are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fans hey, Squid, record that one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, That's um, crazy one. Yeah, we're definitely we're, we're playing them mm. August the 30th. Mm. Um, listen, Shall class like team, well, Don Strapsy, all of them, yeah, Big yeah. G, etc. I've got, got, got a lot of, a lot of love yeah, for them. Yeah, you know, we, we've spoken in detail more than once. Um, but yeah, rising borders, man. Shall love yeah. it, bro. Yeah. Thank you again for coming on, my bro. No worries. Uh, what are we saying? Well, going weekly. I just want to ask him one football related question. Go for it. Go, for it. go, go for ahead. I've wanted. Ah, listen, listen. I'm good for time. No, no, from a coach. No, no, we're wrapping up the football side. I'm good for time. Don't worry about it. From a coach's perspective you might have to uh you can name like one or two players but i don't think like it's, it's I'm not, in depth thing i've yeah. been about right, the cool. football thing for a little while now isn't it? So all time five aside if you had to pick all time five aside yeah putting you on the spot could have, you could have given me this no. uh, question on whatsapp or something <laughs> um all time five aside oof start uh, off in goal obviously <laughs> there's a couple shouts in it we've got buffon boss oliver khan casillas Hmm. Noya, De Gea, but De Gea's put on off a bit, but... Goalkeeper, I'm going to go... Buffon. Yeah, same. That's my All choice. Right. What are you Depends going? what two, formation. One, I'll go 2-2-1. I'll go 2-2-1. Two, 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 all right. I'll go 2-2-1. Two, two, no, you no, can't do no, that. Oh, no, yeah, 2-1-1. Uh, yeah, <laughs> one, one. Sorry, yeah, five side, including keeper. Yeah, my yeah. bad. 2-1-1. Uh, oh, well, I'll go 1-2. Two, I'll go 1-2-1. One, one. I'll go 1-2-1. One, okay, 1-2-1. One. One, one. At the back, my all-time... Centre back all time. You're gonna go home and regret saying someone and be like, oh, I should have said this. But you know what? I rate him because he's a winner. Sergio Ramos. Yeah, I rate that. I'm gonna I go Sergio that. Ramos. I rate that. In midfield. Not the I'm, nicest guy, but I'm gonna go. Does the job. Oh, you see, you're doing this to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go no, Zidane. Let, let, have let, no, no, listen. listen. You have to. You have to. Go I'm gonna Zidane. go. I'm gonna go Zidane because he's my favorite player of all time. And Algerian. All right, and Algerian. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not gonna just say because he's Algerian. Zidane. So, so we've got. Buffon, Ramos, Ramos, Zidane. Zidane on the left side. I'm gonna go Ronaldinho on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go two two goats. Okay. And you know what? I'm gonna get some backlash for this. <laughs> all right. Because Ronaldo and Messi, you can't you can't compare the two. Yeah. All right. But if I was to pick one, I'm just gonna go Messi. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Real Madrid guy. No way. Yeah. I'm a Real Madrid guy, and I love what what. Ronaldo's done like in his Ronaldo career, etc. Well. And what he done at Real Madrid, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I'm going five aside, yeah. close quarters, Messi. Oh no, no, five aside is easy. Yeah, yeah, five aside is easy. But who do you prefer in general, Messi as well? Two greats, man. You can't compare them to. I them. like their I like, numbers are mad. I, 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 like, I yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Yeah, it's true. I always say this to my boys, and I, I say this, you know, me and my dad when you have deep chats and that. It's like you got two great players mm. in your generation. It's never going to be like this. It's again. never going to happen ever again. Yeah, I don't think so. Just. Embrace it, mm. enjoy it, mm. and don't compare. It's coming to the end, bro. It's sad as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've had. Well, the thing I'm, you, uh, I'm talking maybe 12, no. 12, 15 years of pure class. Just them, yeah. Consistently. Yeah, yeah. Week in, week out, year in, year out. Mm. Can't compare the two. Mm. One obviously is training based and whatnot, and one's natural. natural so Ronaldo yeah. and Messi. Mm-hmm. But you can't compare the two. I swear I saw something on Twitter, bro. Was it just, a, just bullshit? What? About Ronaldo retiring or something. No, no, no. Apparently no, no, he no. might go PSG because uh, you yeah. got knocked out, but I don't know if that's. Well, I saw it on Twitter, so obviously Twitter's not. Nah, the Twitter that's rubbish, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Listen, listen. Shout out Twitter because Twitter is the the footballing world out there. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You want to start reading some stuff? That's Twitter. Nice, bro. If you want some banner and that, they're going into. It's the one. I'm taking a little social media break right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Nah, when I don't blame you. When it's transfer window season, it's it's the worst, bro. Twitter is the worst. So you mad hopes, bro. That's why I stay off Twitter. When when I see Man United, Jaden Sancho, this, I'm like, nah, bro. I ain't trying to hear. Well, you're not getting him now. Yeah, well, you're awesome, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm a gooner, yeah, man. Bro, I could tell, well, like, I could tell from looking at someone which team they support. Yeah, I'm a gooner. I don't know why, bro. I'm a gooner, man. Uh, I mean, I'll well. be honest with you, I did put a tweet out there maybe two months ago, or oh, no, just, be- just before Corona. Um, I'm not supporting Arsenal until <laughs> they fix up. Um, have they done enough now? Uh, no, oh, not no. yet. But when they win, I do still cheer them. Or when they lose, you see, I told you so, sort of thing. Yeah, so yeah. It's, um, Go on, no, to another team for, another, for a season or something. Listen, so. I, lo- I love, I love, I love Pep Guardiola and I love Zidane. Yeah. So I watch Man City closely. I watch Real Madrid closely. Mm. But in terms of boyhood team, etc., Arsenal mm-hmm. always been Arsenal. No, I read that. Thierry Henry, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I read he that. Well. I think he's all time, all time best. Yeah, man. Uh, on, in the Premier League, maybe. I love Henry as a kid, bro. I swear down. This conversation about football could go on for 
forever. So I feel like uh, wrap up the football side of things. Let's do it. You got your notes. And um, yeah, but bro, what do you wanna? What do you wanna talk about? So we have a know, second, man. obviously, like like we told you, well gone weekly. But bro, there's it's been just, so many madnesses. But it's just obviously, too we much, gotta like, we gotta pay condolences. You gotta, you gotta, you know you gotta, you gotta take to... it easy on me because I'm not really the. Nah, it's cool. It's the, good. There's, the there's guy no out there. You know what I'm saying? If it's not football, I'll be honest with you. You're not following it. Football, all right. If we're playing gaming, then it's FIFA and Call of Duty. I'll do. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, in terms of social media, Instagram, I don't really check out that. Well, music. No, no, but who's gonna say from? I'm up to date with the music. Don't get it twisted. I will give you a nice little playlist. Who you into? Who you into? Let's make that this world with you. Who you into? What UK scene? Anything. UK scene, all my rising ballers know M Huncho. Yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. Are oh, you ready? Basically, yeah? we got a hate squared playlist on Spotify. Okay. And um, I'll add your favourite uh, song to definitely. it right now. All right, so. M Huncho, who else? Uh, M Huncho, Dave. Yeah. Name uh, me a song, Nate. I'm literally going to add it right now. What, to our M Huncho right now? No, anything, anything. Uh, you got to go M Huncho Tranquility. Oh, that's a, that's a band. Bro, you listening to that in the. Uh, 100%. In the thing, yeah, 100%. I, I paid attention to that. We've done that. Yeah, no, I, I like that. No, no, I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. Yeah, M Huncho, Dave. Um, if we're going away from it, yeah. um, Lil so, Baby, Gunna, Drake. you name it, man. Drake, yeah, got time. I'm very. I think everyone's got time for Drake. I'm very open. I'm very open. Who's that from the French scene? French? Yeah. Ooh, MHD. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what man. about Sulking? You know Sulking? Sulking, of course, bro. Of course, man. Got to know him. <laughs> like Nigeriano. Well. Shout out to the camera, man. <laughs> you know this team. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. So, no, but I was going to say, because it's so important, um, condolences to the yes. Lebanon uh, yeah, of course. attack that happened. Yeah. Uh, I hope uh, if, if, if you were affected or anyone mm-hmm. in your family or friends, uh, you know, hope uh, hope you're all good and the prayers out to, to everyone affected. No, 100%, man. Obviously, we don't want to concentrate too much on that because it's bare yeah, politics. Like, there's a lot of that. politics, yeah. So, um, leave it as that, I guess. Trust me. A lot more we could talk about in the World One Weekly, but, but too much politics you know for that saying? as well, too man. Much, I feel too, like everyone's losing their mind now, man. Too, too, that, bro. too much negativity, man. Yeah, like, I, just I just wanted to get over and done that's with it. That, that's my biggest thing. In terms of news, mm. news just portrays negative stuff. It's too much, I, I, That's why I switch off. I don't watch BBC News. I don't watch ITV News. I don't watch news in general because mm-hmm. I just feel it's just... Oh, he's got stabbed, he's got this, he's mm. got that, she's got that. Bro. And it's just like, yeah. oh. So it, it's one way of maybe switching off from the world completely because yeah. people are too into yeah, it. For mm-hmm. sure, for I sure. don't believe everything I see personally. Yeah, 100%. Um, but like Definitely. I said, just carrying a message in terms of Lebanon, mm-hmm. all, them con- all, all, all countries around the world that mm-hmm. are struggling, suffering, yeah. you know, uh, prayers out to you. Um, stay strong and inshallah everything gets better. Inshallah. Inshallah khair, inshallah. Man. Thank you so much, bro. Any, any last bits of advice? To the people there watching, uh, any any words of wisdom? Football related or not? Just just gen- any, life in general. Anything, bro. Anything life you feel. Like, football, life. You've been through a lot, bro. Right. Let's, Regardless. Let's I'm trying to say you're a man Muslim, of wisdom. Muslim, not Muslim, whatever yeah. it is. And my personal thing, I just say Alhamdulillah because Alhamdulillah. I'm still living. Um, I'm, I got I got a roof under my head. I'm eating correct how I want to. Mm. I'm dressing how I want to. Mm. I'm living how I want to. Mm. Fantastic support in terms of friends, family, you name it. Mm-hmm. Can't really complain Gratitude. in terms of yeah, man. Like alhamdulillah, and it, like Definitely. I'm not gonna be like oh, I wish I got that, wish I got that, yep. wish I got this, that, because a lot of people are suffering out yep. there. So you gotta take that into considera- uh, consideration. Yep. But Thank listen, you. for if there's one clean message that I tell everyone. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. 100%. All right? Love that. Because Great ending. there's always one person watching above us. All right? And he only t- tests the people, all right, that can, can deal with it, it yeah, and so can handle it. Mm. If you can't handle it, all you're right, tested. then you, you're not believing in yourself and you're mm. not believing in the one person above. So well, make bro. sure you, you, know, you stay level-headed, you stay grounded, mm-hmm. uh, you, you stay true to your faith, to, uh, true to your family, you mm-hmm. name it, mm-hmm. friends, etc. Mm-hmm. And For make sure. the most out of this life. Have a smile on your face. Yeah, man. And take steps forward. And definitely, bro. I want to say publicly in front of everyone in front of the camera, you know, thank you so much again. No worries, you man. Know, you know, you've got great positive energy. We Cheers, can feel bro. it. And that's no, a very, you know, a, you know, you can feel that genuine Cheers, ness, man. You know what I'm saying? So no, uh, we're going to leave uh, uh, Maz's uh, socials below. Yeah, and uh, Rising Ballers, obviously. Yeah, follow of course. Them. Shout out Rising Ballers. Shout out to everyone. Follow Shout out to right. everything you're doing and the people you're affiliated with. You too, you too. Honestly, thank like, you, bro. Thank you. Uh, like, I'm going to say, like, I'm always, I'm always thankful for people to bring me on to their podcasts, etc. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially for, for a startup one mm-hmm. like yourself. Thank you so much, bro. Um, Thank you. you know, I'm definitely going to start tuning in and, 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 and checking it out mm-hmm. sure. a lot more than what I, what I have done. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, honestly, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure uh, being that. able to share my, my life story with you lot and, and the viewers at home. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm in a position where I'm 
eternally grateful. Um, alhamdulillah. Still don't think, uh, you know, I, no, well I would have been man. in this position, uh, position etc. Well but um, no, honestly, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the viewers at home took something out of it. Uh, apologies, sure, it's all football, sure. football related, but hopefully there's some no, meaningful it's messages. The lines, bro. It's yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. There's, a, there's, some, messages, yeah. there's some messages in between that you can take into your, into your mm. daily craft, whatever it may be. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, man, thank you very much. Honestly, it's been an absolute sure, pleasure. Thank you, guys. Be sure to um, subscribe, like the video, and like, like always, you know, follow us. On all of that, all of that, all of that. Come on, you need sunrise and ballers in there, man. All right, a bit of energy. Applause for Maz one more time. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.